Hello everyone, this is Season 5 and welcome to the Cobra Masai tutorial review. And today, so we'll be looking at the 2010 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra action figure review. And today's action figure review, we're looking at the Sea Strike Beachhead. Now, I got this straight from a local toy shop near my area for 38 ringgit. They already priced it for 39 ringgit and 50 cents and retail price is 39 ringgit and 90 cents. I actually saved up 2 ringgit there. Now you notice the front part of packaging a best resemblance to the 25th anniversary version with an artwork style of the Rice of Cobra. And like the Rice of Cobra, the artwork also surrounded by green glow and this one is surrounded by blue glow with white edge glow instead. Quite interesting. Now the artwork is also noted for something peculiar is that the artwork actually overlaps a little bit on the G.I. Joe logo, you notice that. On the side here, you got the name Beachhead, and he's a urban combat specialist. At the bottom here, you got a nice little Rise of Cobra G.I. Joe logo there. Now let's take a look at the plastic bubble. You got a figure there, and he is surrounded with weapons. You got a gas mask with a helm, and he's holding a assault rifle. And on the back here, you got the SMG. On the side here, another assault rifle. Here you got the pistol, another, well, SMG, and another assault rifle at the bottom. At the back of the figure itself, there's a base stand, you'll notice that. And at the bottom of the base stand, there's a catalog. Now, at the back of the packaging itself, the top part here is a small little write-up stating what G.I. Joe is really about and who they're up against, which is Cobra. This time, their mission is Sea Strike, and you'll notice a nice little diorama where Beachhead is hiding behind a wall, letting by the unit patrol of Cobra. And you notice there's Firefly, there's a 25th anniversary version of Firefly holding an attack dog and there's the Night Adder there. Behind them is the Cobra Fury tank, which is kind of interesting. At the bottom, the file card, is stated Beachhead, name Wayne R. Sneedon, serial number 902-46-SW14, grade E-6 Staff Sergeant, Mission Equipment, C. QB-82 Close Quarters Battle and the Armor Weapon System. And at the bottom here, Wayne Beachhead Sweet Sneeden is an urban combat specialist on the GIO team. This former army ranger carries specialized gear and weapons including a gas mask for breathing in any environment and a UPR urban plasma rail weapon and his gear and training come in handy when he battles Ellie Vipers in the Cobra Warehouse. So. Without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back of the remaining figure and the rest of the stuff out from packaging. Now inside the packaging, we'll take a look at the base stand, the G.I. Joe base stand. It's exactly the same design as the 25th anniversary version with no improvements at all. At the top part here, you've got the G.I. Joe logo and there's two pegs here for the figure to stand on. On the name page here, it's stated Beach Head. On the other side here, it's stated 2007 Hasbro made in China, and that's about it. Now, let's take a look at his accessories here. Beachhead comes with a lot of weapons. First, we have a handgun with no trigger, and you can't actually store the handgun anywhere on the figure itself. There's no holster for this pistol to slip into. Next, we have an SMG very nicely detailed weapon comes with two handles very nice another SMG equipped with the silencer and a scope the next weapon is what's presumed to be the real gun according to the back of the packaging now the real gun is a bit pain it can only fit onto the left hand for some reason very nicely detailed. Next we have an assault rifle which both hands can't actually hold it properly. It's a bit loose. You have to have the figure to hold the weapon in with two hands. Very nicely done. Next we have the assault rifle with the scope. Very detailed too. Now it comes with two flippers. I don't understand why they gave Beachhead here a uh, flippers because Beachhead for this figure is designed as a city strike and they gave him a pair of flippers no snorkels or anything else 
this entire flipper is actually in black and at the bottom part of the flipper itself is painted in blue kind of interesting to note that majority of the figure's paint job is in dark grey beige colours or dark brown and suddenly you have something like well, blue popping up there it can fit at the bottom of the figure's feet or if you want to store it you can store it at the back of the vest there's two pegs, uh, two peg hole there you just pop it in like so next we have the helmet with the gas mask very nicely detailed the new accessory you just pop the entire helm into Beachhead's head and there you have it and easily removable too very detailed stuff there next we have the vest itself the vest is very nicely detailed with all the nice little tiny little paint job being put onto the vest itself all the buttons all the buckles are painted in silver and the clip here is painted in black and here's a nice little thing here I believe this is a flashback grenade it's painted in black and you've got two logos here the triangular logos and at the bottom of the flashback itself is painted in red the back part here is really nicely detailed a lot of pouches a lot of clips and this is the knife sheath but there's no extra knife either that or maybe I may lost it the moment I opened it from the packaging from the front part here you got a knife a removal knife here you have a binocular which is not removable of course and you can actually remove this out from the figure's body but it will take some work because it's quite difficult to remove it that's the button there now let's take a look at the figure's paint job now the paint job is actually very nice for a CD strike urban character Fleshstone skin is also painted and very small tiny eyes small of black eyes painted there and the pupils are painted in black it's very nicely painted beige colors also accompanied on the lower arms as well very nicely painted as well pants are painted in dark brown camel sort of like a parka pants and on the side here it's also nicely painted I have no idea what it is very nicely painted buttons are all painted in red the screen is painted in orange now for the figure sculpt the sculpt is entirely a new sculpt very interesting first things first we'll take a look at this part here this part here you notice is a tubing attached to the lower ankle section here that's a hole here and you can well connect it like so but it doesn't go all the way in and sometimes when you try to pose the figure it will just pop off quite easily very nicely sculpted on the leg part here you do two extra magazine this whatever this thing is it's very nicely sculpted arms as well all the arm plating on the shoulders very nicely done and especially on the torso the torso is entirely a new sculpt which is very good very nicely done head sculpt as well very nicely done as well let's take a look at the figure's articulation the head actually pivots up and down side to side turns 360 degrees shoulder here turns 360 degrees and raise the arms this far elbow joint actually bends this far back a little bit and turn 360 degrees wrist joint here turns 360 degrees torso here goes side to side it's a bit tight go back a little bit go forward a little bit and turn 360 degrees hip joint here goes forward it's really tight for both the hips itself really super tight go back a little bit and go to the side double jointed knee and ankle joint here pivot downwards and upwards and turn 360 degrees now I have to say I really like this figure I really do it comes with a lot of weapons of course there's no way in hell you actually can store the weapons it doesn't come with a backpack or anything I'm not too sure why they provided him with a pair of flippers 
but the entire figure itself the figure alone is very nicely painted and the entire mold is very unique very very nicely done very detailed stuff i really like this thing on the side here but i really don't like the tubing it doesn't connect all the way in the hole is not deep enough but the entire figure looks really great and very very tight joints so it's a good thing there for posing this figure so if i'm gonna give a rating on this i really love this guy comes with a lot of really good accessories especially on the vest itself really nice small little details have been sculpted molded and painted on so if i'm gonna give a rating i'll say a nine out of ten yes a nine out of ten for the city strike beachhead so this is the end of the review i thank you all for watching this is lucy05 and i'm signing off